Um, my name is Edwin Johnson. I'm the um, CEO and founder of Cords and Richmond Youth Program in the city of San Bernardino. I was born in Torrance, California in 1982 and later moved to Los Angeles, California. Growing up, man, it was always kind of hard. You know, it, it was always kind of hard for several different reasons. For one, like we grew up in poverty. You know, I mean, like the like the worst type of poverty you can imagine. Growing up, like we never really had like a solid place to stay. You know, it was always like um, we'll stay here for a, a few months, or we'll be staying there for like a few months. Um, most of the time, we was in and out of shelters. There was a lot of abuse. I, you know, like I saw my dad beat the hell out of my moms all the time. You know, um, um, I experienced um, the drug world. You know, my pops would lay his dope around and I would be thinking they like dry peanuts. You know, it was always hard for us because of my pops. He was kind of tough on me at, as a child. He would call me names, call me Piggy Wiggy. He used to call me a bitch. He used to call me fat ass. You know, and it's crazy because as a kid, I wasn't even really that fat. <laughs> if you look at my pictures, he was heavily, heavily gang affiliated, active, right? Um, but he still, you know, tried to do things with us. Um, one day we was at the park one time. I hate baseball to this day because of this particular situation. So he would like throw the ball at us like we was um, major league catchers, and you know, and it was the hard baseballs like. The real, real hard one, <laughs> right? You know, I used to have to talk myself like, all right, you know, hopefully I catch these balls, you know, because I know how my father is. But this one particular time, man, I was like, you know what? I'm about to catch this ball. And so he threw it, and I saw the ball, like, coming at me in a slow motion. And so I put my glove out, and I just barely missed it. And so it hit the tip of my glove. The ball popped up, hit me in my mouth. And my mouth started bleeding. My mouth bloody, you know, and he like, you better not cry. Everything in me just wanted to break down. But the fear of me breaking down, you know, would have been worse. Um, the pain would have been worse than that ball hitting me in my mouth. So it was, it was, uh, it was uh, so much chaos growing up. You know, everybody was, you know, focused on like different types of, issues and stuff in life you know like one night you know like I was I was molested you know by one of my family members you know at a young age you know and everything that we experienced you know all the traumatic things that I experienced I never had therapy for or like never had nobody to talk to about and then you know I mean just being around gang violence bloods everywhere my pops dressing me up in all red taking me over there to go fight somebody who just beat up my older brother, you know? So, it was, you know, it was like a challenge to him. Like, he was trying to make us gladiators. He made me get a tattoo on my chest when I was 10 years old. This is the stuff that he put us through. I hated my dad, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hated him. Like, every, every, every part of him, like, every part of him, I hated being around him. I hated when he came in the room. I felt anxiety. I hated everything about him. And I shouldn't have had to feel like that as a child. So in 1996, um, we ended up leaving from San Fernando Valley, moving out here to uh, San Bernardino. Uh, we was losing our place out there in uh, San Fernando Valley. And so um, we had an opportunity to be able to come stay with a family member that lived out here in San Bernardino, you know. Um, but there was no change. It still went from bad to bad, or should I say bad to worse. Right, um, and so we were staying in the uh, one bedroom. It was about four of us standing in the one bedroom out here on G Street in uh, San Bernardino. When I moved out here to San Bernardino, um, things just got worse for me. When we came out here, I had more freedom, you know, and so I started drinking more. I started um, smoking cigarettes more, you know, started hanging around the wrong crowd, you know, getting into scuffles here and there, you know, started hanging around the local gangs and stuff like that. Um, and so I watched my life kind of get started getting worse. So like a lot of things that I've been through, like in my childhood, um, growing up and, and stuff like that, um, affected me a lot of different ways. So when I came out here to, to San Bernardino, those things that I had 
you know, um, in my past and things that I dealt with in my childhood, when I got to San Bernardino, everything just increased, you know, as far as my behavior goes from those different types of situations, right? Because I never was able to deal with those. Like, I, I had never deal with, dealt with being molested. I never dealt with being abused by my pops. So my anger from that showed once I came to the city of San Bernardino because I didn't care at, at that time. You know, I didn't care about nobody. I, I didn't care about nothing that was around me. Only thing I cared about was how I felt and how other people was going to pay for the pains that I've been through. I started attending an after-school program out here in the streets of San Bernardino because my mother um, decided that the life that I was living in the streets wasn't wasn't healthy. They uh, really started showing me different things in life, like like showing me that I didn't have to do the things that I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like it showed me that there was another part of life that I can engage in. You know, helping people. They provided the opportunity for me to learn a lot a lot of different skills and travel. Um, this after school program provided kept me out the streets. It was even an escape from my home. As I got older, um, even though I started to change change my ways and stuff like that, you know, like the hustler and the conniving dude was still inside of me though. You know, it just looked a little different. While I was there, I was still on my sneak type of con conniving type of tip, you know, like, you know, trying to still, trying to hustle, you know, still trying to do little things on the side, still trying to, still trying to indulge, but knowing that I can still be at this place and I know that this place can change my life, but I still wasn't ready to go full all the way in. I, I was still like, eh, okay, well, let me come in, you know. My appearance was way better, but I had no integrity at all. It was still about me. It's crazy because, like, God always was tugging at my heart, and he, and he put in my heart to start a program like I was in, similar to the things that we did, but a little different, though. I really didn't um, really, really think about it until I was in a bad car accident one day. Like, I, like honestly, like, I feel that car accident was set up, you know, because behind that car accident, that's when I started taking the program seriously. Soon as I did this, this proposal, I wasn't even scheduled to go back to work yet, right? And so I was just randomly talking to somebody about a, a program that, I'm, that I want to put together in the future, you know. And this person was like, what program? Let me hear what you got. Then major, major doors started opening up, like stuff that I, I, I can even imagine. Like, I, I never even imagined it was going to turn out like that. Course came about because of the program that I was in. The element that I took was the love that they had for the kids. We're here to simply show these kids love, right? And so the music part is just a hook for them. You know, the, the music, arts, and entertainment is just a hook because the deep 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 underlying foundation of, of, of chords is mentoring is loving on the kids is teaching them life skills is building those relationships with them so they have somebody to talk to so they have somebody to feel comfortable with recently i just wrote a book the book is called piggy wiggy so this book has details of the things that i've been through my life struggles as a child up until now things that i've struggled with from um, from my childhood that started to affect me into my adulthood, right? And so through this process, it talks about my life, you know, you know everything that I've been through, but it also talks about, you know, how chords kind of changed my life, you know, like during the program and stuff like that. And aside Piggy Wiggy, this is going to help people to understand like, yeah, you went through hard times and like bad times, but those things were in place for your destiny.